published, 714 EDT, the 7th of April 2018, updated, 1548 EDT, the 7th of April 2018 Britons have been pictured enjoying the hottest day of the year as the mercury hit 19.4 C in parts of the country making the UK hotter than the Algarve and March. Spring has finally sprung after a wetter than average March after the UK was battered by the beast from the east twice. Yesterday's 17.3 C high, the hottest of the year so far, was surpassed in Gravesend, Kent, where temperatures reached 19.4 C on Saturday afternoon. This makes it the warmest day since October 25 last year, when temperatures reached a high of 19.6 C in Wisley, Surrey. In contrast, both Portugal and Marrakesh are experiencing temperatures of just 16 C. People have been taking advantage of the warmest day of the year at Westgate Gardens in Canterbury, Kent, today, where the flowers on the banks of the River Stour are in bloom. This man was spotted sunbathing in Canterbury, Kent. Elsewhere in the county, temperatures have soared to 19.4 C in graves and despite the cloudy weather. This family took advantage of the dry weather in Weymouth to walk their dog along the empty beach here Bruno the dog enjoys the warm weather with a dip in the sea at a beach in Bournemouth The Met Office said today is the warmest day since October 25 last year, when temperatures reached a high of 19.6 C in Wisley, Surrey, pictured. A man enjoying the weather at Westgate Gardens but Met Office meteorologist Helen Roberts warned the warm weather is not set to last with showers in the north and west, and outbreaks of rain across central and eastern areas on Sunday. Where it's been potentially 18 C or more this afternoon in the southeast, tomorrow it will be much suppressed, so more like 12 C or 13 C, she said. London and the southeast will see the best of the warm weather on Saturday. As an area of cloud and rain to the west edges north. Wales and northern England are particularly affected by that and Scotland later, with drier and brighter weather to the north of that across much of the rest of Scotland, said Ms. Roberts. Overnight that continues to edge northwards across the rest of Scotland. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather, but a lot of cloud with some mist and fog developing through the early hours of Sunday morning and then another pulse of rain pushing across southeast England. So, it's a wet start across some southern and eastern parts of England on Sunday morning. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather around first thing, but quite a lot of cloud as well, with that cloud gradually lifting as the day progresses. Wet weather is supposed to hit Wales and southwest England before drifting northwards, pictured, this afternoon groups of people take advantage of the warmer weather on Brighton Beach this morning, as despite the cloudy weather temperatures are predicted to peak at 17 C in the UK today a group of horse riders made their way along West Wittering Beach in West Sussex this morning people are spotted lining the banks of the rivers or in Canterbury, Kent to enjoy the warm weather as the southeast basks in the warm weather, Wales and the southwest were hit by heavy rainfall, with eight flood warnings and 54 flood alerts in place. This rain will move northwards throughout the day before hitting Scotland in the late afternoon. On Monday the mixed weather continues, with much of the day being dry and bright but with rain predicted for later on in the day. The sunny weather comes after a wetter than average month in places such as Devon, the Severn Vale and Tyneside. Figures showed average UK rainfall last month was 104.4 mm, the highest for that month since 2008 when it reached 122.5 mm. Kite surfers took to the water off West Wittering Beach earlier this morning, pictured, despite the cloudy weather people sat and lay down on the pebbles of Brighton Beach in their hoodies and coats this man shaded himself from the sun while in a punt on the river Stuart weather is set to hit the southwest of England, with eight flood warnings and 54 flood alerts in place the latest figures includes the heavy snowstorms, dubbed the beast from the east, which came in two waves and caused widespread disruption to transport, schools and power supplies across the country. Forecast to Graham Mad said, we could see similar temperatures on Saturday in the southeast but because of the uncertain nature over the weekend the range of temperatures will be greater. The brief.
Warmth will be welcome respite from what Mr. Madge called a very wet March. Devon had its fourth wettest March since 1910, although that was not necessarily replicated everywhere, he said. Pretty much everywhere apart from places like the northwest and west of Scotland saw pretty much above average rainfall. This surfer took advantage of the dry weather to surf off East Wittering Beach in West Sussex Bournemouth Beach and peer earlier today where families were seen taking advantage of the warmer weather plenty of families could be seen enjoying the weather on a beach in Weymouth this cyclist was spotted pushing his bike along the beach in Weymouth.